Hi, my name is Christian Hernandez from the Cloud Platforms Business Unit over at Red Hat. In this video, I'm going to be going over a brief demonstration on how to deploy Helm charts using Argo CD. Before we begin, I installed the Red Hat OpenShift GitOps operator beforehand. You can install this operator at the operator hub. Once I have the Red Hat OpenShift GitOps operator installed, I will have access to Argo CD. There are two main ways to deploy a Helm chart using Argo CD. First is to use the native integration within Argo CD to deploy the Helm chart. You do this by clicking new app and give your application a name, then specifying your sync policy. Next, instead of deploying a Git repo, you will select Helm. Here, you will put in your Helm repo URL and the chart you want to deploy. Next, the destination cluster, which you want to deploy, and the namespace you want to deploy to. Here inside Argo CD, you can specify your Helm values here that you want to override. In this instance, I'm not going to do a build because I already pre-built the image beforehand. So I will select builds enabled equals false and give it the specific image that I want to use for this chart. Once I click create, you'll notice that you'll have a Helm logo specifying that this is a Helm deployment. Now I can interact with this application using the Argo CD CLI. Using the Argo CD CLI, I can do Argo CD app list to list my applications. Now I interact with this application and set further override values. For example, if I want to set the replica count equal to two. Once I set this, Argo CD sees the change and will sync the application for me, giving me two pods. Now, this is a perfectly valid way to use Argo CD and Helm, but it's not necessarily GitOps friendly. In a GitOps way of doing things, you need the manifest to be reflected in a Git repo, not just inside of Argo CD. To do this, you can do what we call a subchart method. Going over to my YAML, and looking at the subchart resource you, um, application URL, you can see that I have a repo URL of an actual Git repo, the path that I want to specify where my YAML manifest lives, and also things like the server and the, the destination namespace. Going over to my Git repo and my Quarkus subchart directory, you can see that I set up what is known as an empty Helm chart. This empty Helm chart has a dependencies of the actual chart that I want to use. Also inside this subchart directory is I have the values.yaml file of the values I want to overwrite for my Helm chart. Next, I'm going to apply this manifest, creating the Argo CD application. Once I create it, it'll create another application. This time, note that the application will have a Git logo instead of a Helm logo. Notice how I have three pods. Now, if I want to make a change, I don't interact with the Argo CD CLI. Instead, I will use a GitOps workflow by changing the Git repo upstream. For instance, I want to set up this to have one replica instead of three. Once I set these values, I'll go ahead and do a hard sync.
and show now that Argo CD sees that I want one replica instead of three. I hope you enjoyed this video and invite you to try out deploying your Helm charts using Argo CD on OpenShift. Thank you.